Hello everyone and welcome to a brand new series, ladies and gentlemen. Guys, I am here. I am in an underground, like, building thing, like a dome. It's cool. It's crazy. Welcome to the deep end. So guys, it's been a while since I've had, like, a legitimate full survival series on this channel. I mean, yes, we have had the avenue and stuff, but that, it's kind of modded. This... We're bringing it back to survival. So basically, this SMP, the goal is it's focused around the new 1.13 Minecraft Aquatic update. So if you look out, <gasps> look at the little dolphin right there. <gasps> there should be fish everywhere. And this is the spawn. So here's who the server will consist of. It's got CPK, Captain Sparkles, Log.zip, It's Funny, and her crew. Megan, Joey, Afmau, Joel, Lizzie, Will, me, Stacy, H, and Shelby, and room for more. So there may be more added throughout, but that's pretty cool. This is just like where we start. I gotta get a boat, uh, but we're gonna go check out the the, uh, the server. So there's no one else on. I'm actually on pretty early. I'm on like two days before this thing even launches because I just wanted to check it out, see what's. Oh my goodness. Look at all the dolphins! They're beautiful! They're everywhere! Okay, so this is something I've never seen before. This zombie right here. This is cool. I wanna... What is this thing? Like, if I kill this... I don't have any, like, weapons or anything yet. I'm like, I'm just starting off. Maybe this isn't a good idea. <laughs> Let's find, like, some land, because we need some starting materials. But today's episode, guys, I thought we would go and uh, start getting some contributions from the server because I have a project in mind, but it's gonna require a lot and a lot of fish. Lots of tropical fish. Oh wow, what is this? <gasps> they have like the trident and they can throw it at you. Oh my gosh. I never saw like the trident in action. That's crazy. Why was there a dead fish in the water by the way? Wow. This is insane. Raw cod. What is this? Dried kelp? <gasps> so this is like food to get me around. Okay. So the idea for the server came because we as a group collectively, well, one, this group has never really all collabed together before. So that's pretty huge. What is this island? This island just looks like it has... See, the thing is, I want to build at spawn and, and start the underwater vibe because I think they that we want to go for like an underwater type spawn. But I gotta get to land before I can do any of that, and I'm not finding any islands. Wow. Look at all this beautiful coral everywhere. Oh my goodness, we can do so much with these coral blocks. This is all terrain that's never been generated before, ladies and gentlemen. I'm the first person to be generating this terrain. <laughs> Very cool. When uh, the seed was chosen, it was said that there's a, a little bay with a bunch of islands. Oh, here we go. Here's an island. And around, there's like a bunch of cool biomes. So that's what we're kind of heading into this with. So the way this is going to be run is similar to how like Cube Season 1 was, where it was like we constantly update the snapshot every week. And because Java Update is still in like progress and there's still new snapshots coming about, uh, we are going to be updating that every week. And so with that may come unstable builds. I remember we had fun times with that back in the day. <laughs> People would have to roll back. Not too fun. So let's get our basic resources made. But today, guys, I want to build an aquarium full of tropical fish. And I want to build that aquarium right, like, next to the starting area. So when people, like, start in, they can see this big aquarium full of all sorts of fish. But I'm talking, like, a big aquarium, like, millions of fish in this aquarium. And so I'm going to need a lot of contributions, so I'm going to set up a booth, I think, near that starting area where I'm going to ask for people to donate tropical fish. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up... Oh, I got an advancement. <laughs> Forgot. Oh, I hear a cave. Here we go. Hey, Skelly. Okay, I have no armor, I have to remember. I can't play this too aggressively. Holy moly, that's loud. Hey, creeper. What up? Okay, what's this new mob? Oh, it's this guy, yeah. Oh, I just got pushed in with him. Giving him a big hug. Die.
Oh boy. All right, we are all geared up. So the rest of this should be pretty simple. Man, I died like seven times there off the start. Actually, I probably should have let that smelt away. There you go. All right, not too shabby. We are looking pretty good. Started out off strong. I might have to rely on some zombie flesh here. There were some zombies back there that I might want to go kill just because my food's looking a little rough. We're at a good level here to find diamonds pretty quickly. And diamonds means goodness. Everyone wants diamonds on the server, so. Let's see. Oh, hello. Yeah, just blow up, please. Er, please. <laughs> Did not expect that premature explosion. Chest! With a bunch of food, which is exactly what we needed, and a name tag. Couldn't have asked for anything more, honestly. I would have wanted food more than a diamond in that case. Now we're gonna be surviving. Got a bunch of rails. Oh, hey, Enderman. Bye, Enderman. Oh, actually, that just gave me a free Enderman kill, basically. Thank you. That's a quick Ender Eye. Holy cow, look at this, Creeper Town. Explosion after explosion after explosion. Holy moly. Got some lapis. Not what I'm looking for. Want some redstone. That's, I'll take it. Obviously. Mob after mob after mob. Did 113 introduce more mobs? Holy moly. More gold, though. The more gold, the merrier. Diamonds anywhere? This looks like a sea cave. Ooh, man. Don't want to be in there. Redstone. We need this very badly for our contraption. I don't know what I'm going to give out to people. Maybe just some free handouts. I got a lot of gold, a lot of iron already. So just give me a fish and you get some free iron, free gold. Oh my goodness, my inventory is already full. I can't even fit any more stuff in it. Maybe that's a sign I should dip. I think I might start heading back up. It allows you to so quickly. Wow. Already back up to the surface. I think I have the basic necessities that I need. I didn't get my diamonds, but I don't want to die with all the stuff that I have. So we're going back up. Oh, hey, dolphin. So many tropical fish. <gasps> There's a shipwreck right here. There's so many shipwrecks and dungeons around. I just want to give her a look. There might be something in this chest that we would need. There's tons. There's like millions of these around. These shipwrecks and stuff. Curse of Binding. I guess that could be a prize. In the, uh, if people donate tropical fish, get up. Okay. And then, does this have something? I believe. Whoa, look at that dolphin over there. Did you see? It was just like hopping out of the boat, the ocean. That's so cool. It just dropped a cod. Whoa! Whoa! He just ate the cod! I had no idea the dolphins did this. Dolphins count. Yeah, I want I want dolphins in my aquarium as well. There's the chest. Ooh, an emerald. Luck of the sea. Can't say I'm complaining. Can't say I'm complaining. This is a beautiful area. Look at these dolphins just hopping around. Forgot to check out this shipwreck. What's in here? What is in here? Buried treasure map. There we go. Now we're talking. Did I kill any squid? Because I'm going to need some ink sacks too. But this shall lead us to the treasure. Wherever that may be. Where the heck is that? So it's just like a... Oh, wait a second. Am I covering land here? Okay, so I'm almost there. It is very close. It is very close. It's a little laggy. Need to eat. Alright, so according to my map, it's like right here. There's a shipwreck right there. Literally right there. Oh, but I'm right above my treasure. It should be right... 
right here. There's a buried treasure right here on this X. All right, I'm going down. I want to see what this is, if there actually is something here. There it is. Oh, my gosh. Look at all this stuff we got in it. That's actually a good booster. We got two diamonds, a heart of the sea, which is essential in crafting a conduit. That's pretty good. A lot of cooked cod. We need food right now. And some gold and some TNT. Okay, so noted. And a lot of emeralds. These chests are pretty freaking sweet. So we've got a lot of stuff now, guys. Let's go back to our other iron and collect it. Let me guess. This terrain wasn't generated, so not all my stuff's melted. <laughs> Bingo. All right, so here's what my current inventory is looking like. Not too shabby for the first app. And I just finished smelting all my stuff over here. Gotta just quickly do a little bit more of these guys. But yeah, look at all the glass and the ores that I have. I can't even fit anything else in my inventory. I did not mean to pick that up. All right, so I need to find a Nautilus shell. I don't know what the heck that is, but I can find it by fishing. I got my luck of the sea fish here, so I'll probably get a Nautilus shell that I can make a conduit. Which would be pretty dope. I just want to catch a fish. See what happens. Does, it, does a real fish come, or is it the same mechanics as before? Yeah, it's just something that swims up. I got a, a puffer fish. Look how different they look now. Look at that guy. Fishy business. Alright, let's pack up here. We got pretty much everything we need. Stupid drowned. These are called drowned, apparently. They're just all floating around the water all the time. So glad the water's so different now, though. It does really add a lot to the game. No, no kidding. For realsies. There we go. So when you get to a certain point, you just become not drowning anymore. And it's pretty dope. So because we ain't drowning, we're going to start building. I think what I'm just going to do is I'm going to make a dispenser using some of the redstone that I've got. And I'm going to make a donation box with a sign and a book. Make a little decorative. Got like a little hut going in here. I love it. All right, make a chest, and then we'll put a book inside, and then a dispenser. Bam, bam. Put the dispenser right. Ah! Read book inside. Dispenser here. And we will put a ladder over top so people can't see inside. And we'll just make it so people can't look in there. So the prize will be Heart of the Sea. That is a big one. I don't know if I want to give away Heart of the Sea. Put some gold in there, some diamonds, some emeralds, so they can get some of those if they need it. Suppose we need an easy way to get in and out of this place. So, read book inside. Okay, so we'll make the door right here, because this would be the easiest way for them to enter if they were coming through. Just like so. Alright, let's go kill some squid real quick. Hey, little squiddy. Wanna give me those ink sacks of yours? Whoa, you swim fast now, eh? Whoa. You swim real fast. I got a dolphin's grace. What does that mean? I mean, I can jump up. Oh, it just increases your swimming speed. Why is there an enderman in my little hut? Hey, little guy. I did not give you permission to spawn in here. I just took in that a lot of things are gonna spawn in here if I don't put torches. It's the only, like, non-water place. And there's a chicken. Hey, little chicken. Come here, buddy. There we go. Feather. Book. And squid sack. We'll write in the book real quick. All right, so here it is. It says, Welcome, fellow sea explorer. It is my wish to construct the ultimate aquarium, filled to the brim with tropical fish, turtles, dolphins, and even maybe some drowned. Gah, those stupid drowned. Those are like the zombies underwater. I'll need your help. You in? If so, I'll need you to grab me at least five buckets of tropical fish, then come back here and dump them into the hopper. Once you have, feel free to dispense a prize. Thank you with lots of love, Grazer. Your mission. There we go. I guess it really could be anything, but I really only need help with the tropical fish, so. Book is in here. Uh, we'll surround it with some redstone, make it look fancy. Well, I have two uh, nice enchanted fishes now. So we'll have the hopper that they put it in right in front of the chest, which means right underneath we'll need to put some chest for storage. Looks like uh, I already dug down here, though, so I already got the space cleared. 
So we'll put hopper chest so right here. Oh, nice thing we got rid of that sand. So it'll have to be sandstone that we put it on. Whoop. Oh, they don't they don't connect if you don't put them the same way. You learn something new every day. There we go. So that should be covered up by the sand. And then we shall put a hopper right there above the chest. And it should go in. So all the stuff should be stored in there now. And there's a good storage bin. Day two. All right, I just returned after a little bit. I'm in a little bit of a pickle. I don't have any food, but I hopped back on. Stacy and Athmau are on right now. And I'm a little sick. You might hear a little bit of like difference in the voice. I've been developing the sickness over the last 24 hours. So every time I come on and film a clip, it like sounds worse. But look in here. Look in here at the prizes, okay? Something is gone. Something was taken. That means someone has donated us a a thing of fish. I didn't even think that it was going to happen that fast. I hadn't even set up a way to collect it yet. But it looks like we've got it. <laughs> someone got lazy, it looks like. They got one fish bucket. Okay. I did specify it had to be five, correct? At least five. Five buckets of tropical fish. So someone someone owes me four fish buckets. Like, I'm acting as if they're the hardest thing to get ever. My number one focus right now needs to be to get food. Uh, I'm struggling with that. And I'm just going to cover this back up. And I will make a way to collect it. I think I might have a uh, underground tunnel. Because I'm going to be expanding this. This is my little territory right now. It doesn't look, it, it doesn't look like anybody else has built yet, no. Okay. I remember there being an island, like, right here. Oh. I went in the exact opposite direction as I'm... There's a jungle right here. What? There's literally a jungle right here. I'm not even, like, 300 blocks away. That I Literally, that took me two minutes to get to. There's a jungle here. Hold on. We could probably loot some jungle temples. What? Jungle right next to spawn? I could probably get a cat. My very own pretty cat. Melons. I'm relying on melons from the jungle to survive. I think it might have been Will that missed, uh, read the game. He told me he recorded it, so it could have been him. Or it was either Stacy or Aphmau. One of those three. Oh, I'm lagging in here. It's generating a bunch of new jungle terrain. Whoa. Okay, so that means no one's been here yet. Like, I want to keep these guys, but at the same time... Like, are these really the cows we're going to be bringing back? And, like, when will a farm be made and stuff? Should I make the farm? Am I the am I the candidate to make the farm? You know what I mean? Whoa! Is that new? What is that? Oh, it's just a lava thing that, like, destroyed all, all the jungle. I don't want to be in here, guys. This is lag in my computer. I know my computer's supposed to be amazing, but it's weird because look, sometimes it'll like go like not laggy for a second. But like, it's definitely the generation. I don't know, guys. I have not found a jungle temple. It would have been nice if we could have found one, but this is a big jungle, and we are now at 400, 200. So we've traveled 600 blocks out. The mission was to acquire food. We did acquire food. Another shipwreck. Another buried treasure map. Okay. I love how they're so close all the time. Whoa, 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 whoa! Stacy's here! What's Stacy doing? Can't find this treasure map. I know there's goodies here, Dolphin. Help me out. I want to find this treasure map. Wow, there's a lot of you around. Give me your dolphin charm, eh? <laughs> Little dolphin. Super cute. Okay, I can't find this treasure, guys. I cannot find this. The X says it's right there in that crevice. Usually that means it'll probably be like maybe up here. Just chilling. Oh, you. Did you just hurt yourself? Day three. All right, everyone, it's official. I am addicted to this server. So in front of me, I have a huge thing I've been working on for the better part of like maybe 20, 30 minutes. It's just a lot of grindy work. It's not really much more. But 
I'm currently draining the water here. So I need to allow for an underground passage flow to get animals and stuff down here if we want farms under the water. So I just broke my axe. I hate <laughs> I hate when I start filming and I didn't like do the, the stupid grindy stuff I was supposed to do right before I start the clip. That was one of them. So let me get an axe. I had an iron one. Break these wood because I just did the most idiotic thing. I've been using blocks to block up the water, which I thought was always the case, but you can just do torches. Like, you'd think I would have thought of that, but for some reason, nope, didn't come to mind that you could just do this. Boom. Boom. Repeatedly. All the way down. <laughs> no problems at all. Uh, it might be a little harder when I'm swimming, but you know what? The swimming has gotten so much better in this, in this world, in this version, that it's not even a big deal. And we are pretty much good now. I think we just got to put some blocks, cover that little source there. And there we are! So this is how we're gonna move anything and everything underground into the spawn area. First and foremost, I'm gonna use it for... Oh, it looks to be a little opening there. It's not too good. I might actually use that kind of water pattern, how it had like a fall there. Maybe put it as a decoration. But in here I want to put some cows. So how am I gonna get the cows in here, you ask? Well... Well, I put all my iron in here for some reason. I just realized that. I put like all my everything in here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna create an iron bucket. And I'm gonna go get some water. The easiest way up is through here. Woo! Collect some water. We're just gonna make one little stream. Oh, I don't wanna fall down there. Just like that. Look, the dolphins always think, like, they remind me of people. And then, actually, you know what? We didn't even need to do that. We didn't even need to do that. Man, I'm using, like, wooden tools at this point. We just need to leak. Oh, wow! A phantom! It's a phantom. Right there. Wow, he looks incredible! Huh? You wanna go? Freaking guy. Alright, let's leak you into here, buddy. That phantom. Here he comes! Oh! Yo, look at him, look at him, look at him! Look at him go, look at him go! Look at him go, he's following me in the water. Oh, oh, oh! He didn't strike. That is insane! Okay. Let's get you in here, buddy. It's like a water slide for you. Woohoo! There you go. So he goes down there safely. And... I'm gonna go check just to make sure everything went to plan. Yep, he's right in here. So that's cow number one. Don't want to kill him. Now I'm gonna go get cow number two. And... Yeah, he should stay in here as long as that water flows like that. Whoa, they can come underwater! Okay, yo, I'm killing this guy. He's cheesing me. Come here, Phantom. We ain't got nothing on me. Hey! Ooh. Phantom Membrane. I wonder what I can use that for. You drop anything else? No, it doesn't look like it. Oh, I saw it strike! I saw it strike right there. Actually, I need a uh, sheep for wool for a bed. But I can't find the island that I found the other cow at. I'm trying to go along the border of this place. To no avail. But I do need... Some wool. No cows, eh? Look how close these creepers were. Could have gotten myself a player, a creeper head already. Get on, there we go. Second cow. Look at that guy, look at that guy. Oh my goodness. Some of these dolphins, man, they defy the laws of physics. All right. Whoa. See that boat? <laughs> All right, let's put you in, buddy. Cow number two, shipment number two. Hello. Hey, little guy. <laughs> Get on in here. Water slide you down. Whee! Right on it. It's so satisfying to watch. Oh, there's a bat down here. I forgot. I gotta torch this place up if I don't want there to be like crazy mobs and stuff spawning down here.
As I was saying... Okay. That creeper was not there when I looked, like, when I looked two seconds before that moment. That creeper was not there. The two cows are saved. That's all I really cared about. Those were the things, those were the guys that took me the longest to get down here. So, as long as they're okay, we should be alright. Um... My gosh, though. We, got, we just gotta torch this whole place. Ain't nothing spawning in this place. Alright. Oh, my emeralds. They're underneath the glass. Oh, thank you. I've got a pet bat now. I can literally name tag this bat. I think I might. I think I might name tag him. He's gonna be batty! Yeah, Betty. Oh no, don't leave, don't leave. No, I already wasted this name tag on you. Come back in. Yes. Stay in here. Yay, Betty! I'm a pet bat now. That's dope. All right, I'm going to leave this eyesore for now. Next episode, I'm going to fix it up, patch it up, get it looking nice. I think that's enough for one episode. We went through a lot. Thank you for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.